that's what I call a game. That is what I call a goddamn game. Oh, man. Oh, man. So, so, first and foremost, first and foremost, I just want to say good game to the Commander fans. I want to, I want to say good, you know, I want to say, you know, to the Washington fans, you guys played good, honestly, honestly, both teams played good. Now, yeah, okay, sure. It took the Philadelphia Eagles a while to get going. <coughs> that first quarter and some of the second quarter, the offense left a little bit to be desired. My offensive line, they weren't... I won't say they were playing badly. Like, I won't say they were bad... But honestly, in the first quarter, they, they, they weren't they weren't all that great. They weren't terrible, you know. The offensive line didn't play, you know, piss poor in the first quarter, but they didn't play all that great in the first quarter. But during the I say the middle of the second quarter. That's when the Philadelphia Eagles got the kick in the ass they needed to play this game and to win this ball game. Now, I saw several big plays by the by both sides of the ball. All right. It was a real treat. To watch the fucking oh man, there were so like folks. I'm a little hesitant here because there were a lot of good play. There were so many good plays over the course of this game that folks, I don't know where to begin. This game, in and of itself, the, like in and of itself, just by itself, this whole game was a real treat. It wasn't a stroke game, but you know, it almost was, but it but it wasn't. But it was a real treat to watch. I admit during the first quarter and the first half of the second quarter, I was yelling at my fucking screen a little bit. And then, then, then the Eagles score that touchdown. And that's when we start clicking, 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 clicking. That's when we step our game up. That's when we step our game up, step our chain up. And during the half, all right, Nick Sirianni took his men aside. Fucking Jalen took his men aside. We all went into the locker room. And I don't know what exactly Sirianni said to his men, but it must have fucking worked. Because I'm seeing Hurts out there making big throws. I'm seeing fucking Swift making big runs. Gainwell is actually gaining well, you know. But I want to give a special shout out to A.J. Brown. That man, if it weren't... That man, if it weren't for his big plays, we might not have had this game. But A.J. Brown, he knows how to make the big plays. That one-handed catch that he made was a thing of fucking beauty. He's known for his fucking... <coughs> he's, this guy is like starting... This guy's known for his fucking catches, okay? So... Well, our offense is fucking, 
making big plays. Our defense, oh my God. Let me tell you about a man named Hassan Reddick. Holy shit. When we needed him the most, when we needed him the goddamn most, he was right there. He was right there, you know, he was right there sacking Howell. Sack and howl. Now I know what you're saying. You know what you're saying. Plague. You guys fumbled twice at the five yard line. And the commanders picked it up. That's true. That's true. Just like last week, hey, we weren't perfect. But we were good enough to win this ball game. And you know what else I saw? Hey, how threw a how how? I keep thinking his name's How. It's Howell. Howell threw his fucking pick. He threw a pick, but Jalen. He didn't throw a single pick this game. Thank you. Thank you. Holy shit! Thank you. I mean. There were these, he was making the huge, he was making the big throws. He even kept and ran a few times. I, I believe he got a first down or two. Jalen, you played like a fucking serial killer tonight. You played like a fucking slasher psychopath tonight. You know, talk about scary, talk about Halloween over here. <laughs> now, sp and speaking of Halloween, you know, it, it, it's great, you know, it, it, it's great that you won this game, because now, when Halloween does roll around, I have something to celebrate. Now, I know what you're saying plague it's halloween celebrate halloween you know i'd love to folks i'd love to but i have to halloween falls on a tuesday this year gotta go to work gotta do my job so unfortunately there's no real halloween festivities for me but i can take some comfort i can take some consolation in the fact that my fucking team this that my fucking team this one This one, all right, swept the Washington Commanders this season. We, now it was a hard-fought battle. We won by a possession. The commander, it was, the final score was Birds 38. Commies 31, all right? Birds 38, Commanders 31. Because <coughs> they did get that touchdown in the last second, but it didn't matter because we were up. And then we got the ball back, and when we got the ball back, Jalen said, you know what? There's like a minute left in the game, in regulation. We're up by a possession. Just kneel it out. Woo saw take a knee we're gonna kneel it out kneel it out and that put the nail in the coffin for this game but folks we swept washington that's something we didn't manage last year last year we split the season with the washington commanders but this year oh this year This year, you got out your brooms, got your brooms, and you were sweeping, sweeping, just sweep, sweep, sweep away, sweep, sweep away. <laughs> That's one team in the goddamn NFC East that we swept. 
Next week, we got the scum. But folks, I don't want to think about next week right now. I want to celebrate this week. Because this week was a hard-fought and well-deserved win. We were at a fucking deficit, and we came back. It was a bit back and forth. But we came back in the end, and we got us a dub. We got us a dub. We got the win. We got that shit done. Commander fans, hey, again, good game. You know, you're probably a little bit sad that you lost. I don't blame you. I hate when my fucking team loses. But you played good. This was what I like to see. This wasn't a stroke game. I didn't get the heart attack i didn't get the left arm tingling but this was what but this was two good teams going up against each other just butting heads but only one team can win the game man you got to have a winner you got to have a loser and this week this week this fucking team this fucking team. This fucking... You see the back? You see the back? You probably don't see the back. Oh, God. Oh, Christ. Uh, look, okay. Let me try turning the other way. Uh, uh, there it is on the back of my jacket. Uh, oh, Jesus. There it is on the back of my jack uh, jacket. If you can see it. Uh, which you probably can't, but... But, uh, uh, if you can see it, there is, there is, the Philadelphia Eagles logo, you probably couldn't see that, that was probably a fucking pointless little turnaround, but, on the back of my jacket, there is a giant Eagles logo, patched onto the, this, this jacket, uh, they actually, they sewed on the eagle. They, I don't know what they did with the word. I think they, they sewed on the eagle. They sewed on the eagles. They sewed on the eagles. And they also sewed, a, sewed on a giant eagle's logo. This, but bigger, on the back of the, of the jacket. You probably couldn't see it. That was probably pointless. But I was trying to show you the back of my jacket. And why I'm bringing up the back of my jacket is, look. That Big Eagles logo is something I can wear with pride. That Eagles logo is something that this week I can wear with my head held high! Let me tell you something. It was today was cloudy and cold and now it's nighttime it's dark and still cold but you know what it ain't nothing but fucking blue sunny skies it it is a fucking sweet ass summer day in plague's world because this fucking team, my fucking team, you know, this one, we're seven and one. We've only lost one ball game so far. And that game against the Washington Commanders was hard fought. And it showed me that the Philadelphia Eagles, I mean, we don't care how many points we're down, we will not go silently into that good night. No, we will not lay down and die and roll over. <coughs> because, folks, we've come back from worse than a fucking 17-point deficit. I've seen it happen. And we're going to continue to come back because we 
I mean, we are a team of fucking fighters, badasses, ferocious fucking beasts. So, you know what? The Philadelphia Eagles, those are my dogs. Jalen Hurts, that's my fucking prize stallion, okay? So, don't you sit over here. Don't you sit over here and say shit. You keep the Philadelphia Eagles, Fred fucks. Fred, uh, Fred fucks. Uh, Fred fucknuts. Fred fucknuts. You keep. You keep the Philadelphia. When you sh when you talk your shit over here. You keep the Philadelphia Eagles out of your fucking mouth. When you talk garbage, you keep Jalen Hurts out of your fucking mouth. I am not kidding you, son of a bitch. You stay the fuck away from him. Don't you dare tell me my dogs ain't got no fight in them. Don't you dare tell me my goddamn horse can't run no more. Because you know what? Every single week, when you're over here saying that we can't do it and that we ain't shit and that we ain't about shit, every fucking week, we come out of the fucking woodwork and we prove to you over and over and over again. <coughs> That we, we are a winning organization. I know you fucking people miss the rebuild years. When I was sitting over here sad, while you were talking your shit. When I was sitting over here sad because you had all that ammunition to talk all that shit, and I was sitting over here pleading with the football de with like God, the football demons, anybody who'd listen, please, Philly, just win a ball game. I remember those days. And now that we're here, seven and one. I'm looking back on those days. I'm believe it or not, I'm actually I'm reminiscing. And I'm saying, yeah. I was there for the rebuild years. And I was there I was there for the Super Bowl and I was there for the rebuild years and I was there for the fucking I was there through for for, for the shit. And I watched us go through the shit and come out clean. I watched us turn and develop into this fucking team. This winning organization. Dog mentality. 1-0 this week. 1-0 this week. Dog mentality. Defense like a fucking castle wall. Offense like a fucking pack of wolves. And you people need to get used to it because that is the culture of the Philadelphia Eagles now. We're a winning organization with a winning culture. We will show no mercy. None. Well, let me tell you something. We, we, I am going to delve into next week just a hair here. We got the goddamn scum heathen devil cowboys next week. And you might ask yourself, Plague, why do you hate the cowboys? I've explained over and over again. I used to live in a part of the country with a bunch of mouthy fucking cowboy fans. And that, you know what? That's the reason I gave. But you know what? I hate the guy. I just hate the goddamn Dallas Cowboys, man. Like any self-respecting Eagles fan, Eagles fan out there, 
I hate the Dallas Cowboys not only because of their mouthy fans that I had to interface with on a daily basis. I hate the Dallas Cowboys because you know what? Because you know what? I don't need a reason to hate them. I hate the Cowboys because they're scum. I hate them because they exist. I hate them because they breathe. I know what the Cowboys did to the Rams this week. Dallas? Cowboy fan? Cowboy fans? I have some extremely bad news for you. We're not the fucking Rams. We're not over here. We're not the fucking Rams. First and foremost, we beat the fucking Rams. I remember that game. All right? And second, we are the Philadelphia Eagles. We hate the... We hate the Cowboys, we hate the Giants, and we hate the fucking Washington Commanders. And we swept the Washington Commanders. They're gone. They're history. And if the Commanders put up that good of a... And they put up a good fight. They put up that good of a fight and lost. So you people... For your own sake, please, watch your ass... And you better bring some fucking, uh, you better bring a fucking, a fucking pastor. You better bring some fucking coffins. Because you motherfuckers, the Philadelphia Eagles, we're going to be witnessing the Cowboys fucking funeral, man. <laughs> you better... You better hope and pray to God. You better hope and pray to the fucking football demons that we don't fucking murder you like we murdered the Vikings in the goddamn NFC Championship game the year we won the Super Bowl. I will not forget what we did to the Vikings. I will not forget, man. And neither should you. That's a... God... Now I'm rambling again. So now it's time for me to diss the fucking pair. But let me tell you something. Once again. Once again. We've proven the point that everybody else, all these naysayers, all these Eagles haters, they're denying. Even though they know it for a fact, it's right there in front of their face. And they're denying it because they don't want to deal with it. Because they don't want to deal with us. And that point is, the Philadelphia Eagles are truly the best in the world. That point is, the Philadelphia Eagles... Like, I know a lot of people are, are, are saying, you know, the Chiefs, the Niners, the Dolphins. All right? Now, the Dolphins, we beat the Dolphins. So don't even, so don't even bring up the fucking Dolphins. We played the Dolphins, and you saw what we did to the fucking Dolphins. As for the Chiefs, I said it once and I'll say it again. The only fucking Swift and the only fucking Kelsey I give a shit about are DeAndre Swift and Jason Kelsey. Taylor? I don't think Taylor, I don't know if Taylor Swift is watching this, but on the off chance she is, Taylor. I'm just not going to fucking say anything. You know what? I'm just not going to fucking say anything yet because I know the fucking Swifties will be on my ass. All right. All I'm going to say is this, Taylor, do not fucking stand in between me and the fucking TV. I, I, I'm telling you, Taylor, don't, don't do it. Because if you do, when we play the Chiefs later on this year, if you do, I will be on you like ugly on an ape. I will be on you like a fly on a piece of fucking shit. Just get me out of here.
Just get me out of here, all right? Fucking Christ!